Hey friends, it's Miss Ashley with the Crave Art Club and your Creative Avenue. And we have some fun paint parties coming up, so I just wanna make sure you all know about them and you let your friends know about them. They're gonna be tons of fun. Um, we're doing them every Saturday of October, even Halloween. On Halloween, we're gonna do some fun, I think it's the shape monsters that we're gonna do uh, for the kids, so to kick off Halloween for them. I know some people are, like Halloween's weird. We're not doing Halloween this year. Um, but some people are able to, some people aren't able to. I don't know what it's like where you're at, but I wanted to do something fun for the kids anyways. So kids, adults, whatever, we're gonna do um, our shape monsters. So that is on Halloween, I think it's at 10 a.m. And um, we're also gonna be painting our haunted house with the kids or adults, because this is fun for everybody as well. But um, those ones are gonna be the easier ones for the kids to do although they're welcome to do any of them. Um, you know, I love painting as a family and with kids, so um, if you guys wanna do that, that'd be awesome. So these paintings are gonna be $15 each. You can go find links to them at craveartclub.com slash paint parties, and um, just click on it, and then you can get whatever paint parties you wanna get into. I think we have four or five up right now, but our first one kicks off next, we have five. So our, our first one kicks off next weekend, Saturday, a week from today. And we're gonna be doing this fun black and white um, pumpkin painting. Now, if you don't want a black and white painting, I thought it was fun. I was gonna do this whole thing black and white originally. And then I got to this pumpkin, I thought, I just wanna make him stand out and be unique. So I added the color just to him. So um, if you guys want to do something like this, let me pull up in the comments. Actually, I don't think I have to here. So um, if you guys are thinking you wanna do something like this, then um, you can follow right along. You're gonna need black and white, obviously, and then a color for your pumpkin. I picked yellow and orange for this pumpkin because you're gonna want a lighter and a darker tone, so whatever that is. But um, if you would like to just learn the techniques, so we have a different technique for our background, I like the illustration sort of style is what I call it. So I like um, my pumpkins to have a lot of strokes and line work on them. If you don't want that many lines, you don't have to have that many lines, but I will teach you how to create your pumpkins to look like this. And we'll talk about how to use our brushes to come up with the hay sort of look and to create our wood texture over here. So you'll learn a whole bunch of different texture techniques in this but you will also be able to change it into any color you want. So if you want black and white with the bright orange standing out pumpkin, you can totally do that. If you want a turquoise pumpkin or a purple pumpkin or anything else, all black and white, that's totally up to you, okay? If you want the background to be done in color, you're just gonna need to get whatever colors you want, okay? So if you sign up for this painting, you'll get um, to join us in our pop-up Facebook group. That's how all of these paint parties will be. They'll be done in little pop-up groups. So you'll wanna get your ticket and then I will put everyone into the group a couple days before we actually start the painting and um, I'll send you guys a supply list so you know exactly what to get. Um, so when you pay for these. Normally I charge $40 for in-person paint parties depending on the painting, but they're usually $40 in person where I provide all the supplies and set up and clean up and all that. This one, it's only $15 and you need to provide your own supplies, um, but they're, they're pretty affordable. And if you're gonna be painting um, at all, you probably have all the supplies, so it's not gonna be that bad. You'll need brushes. If you don't have brushes and you're gonna wanna start doing some of the paint parties with us that are all gonna be on Facebook Lives, um, Grab a set of brushes. My favorite set of brushes, I think I talked about last week, but um, my favorite set of brushes are these Addy's brushes, and they come with uh, 10 or 11 different brushes in the set, okay? You'll have everything you need right there. I do like this brush. Now, those brushes are about $15. You can go to craveartclub.com supplies if you want these brushes, but I do love this brush as well. This is like a one and a half inch brush. You get two in a pack for $4.50, I think it is. Um, that's, I think it's from Folk Art, and that is on my website as well. You don't have to buy any of those things from my website. I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible for you to click on some links and get what you need if you don't already have it. Um, and like I said, with this painting, all you're gonna need is like these little bottles. This is like, well, that's not a good one. This is what I use. These little bottles. These little bottles will last you for a long, long time. You'll be able to do all five paintings with bottles this size or um, way more than that. I, I don't run out of these too quick, okay? And these can range from about 79 cents, maybe even 59 cents at Walmart um, for different brands. 
the craft paint is what you're looking for. You don't need artist grade paint, it's fine. Um, but you can just grab these little tubes of craft paint, like folk art, deco art, um, craft smart, all those sort of things, okay? So those are the little paints, and I would just, like if you're gonna do this one, you need black, white, yellow, and orange. That's it, four kinds of paints. That's less than four bucks if you buy the stuff that's under a dollar. The deco arts are about $1.59, so you're spending, what, six bucks? And then your brushes, which you probably have at home, but if you don't already, just pick up a nice pack of brushes because that really will make a difference. Um, and then your canvas. This is a 12 by 16 canvas we're gonna be using for this painting, so a 12 by 16 canvas is what I would recommend. However, a really great thing to use, if you're gonna wanna do all the paintings that we've got coming up and you wanna keep them in one nice book, just grab like an 11 by 14 Canson mixed media pad of paper. It's super awesome. Comes with 60 sheets of paper. Again, you can find that on our website, craveartclub.com slash supplies. It's just links to the Amazons. Um, but you can get them at Michael's. You can get them anywhere. But the mixed media pad's awesome because you'll do your painting in there and then it'll dry and you can just keep it in there. If you wanna put it up on the wall, you can put it, pull it out and put it in a little frame and put it on the wall, totally awesome. If you wanna paint on canvas, just grab a pack of the 12 by 16 canvases. Um, I think one of our paintings is on a 16 by 20, but you don't have to do that. You can keep it at 12 by 16. Um, and I think one of them, I think the other two are, for the adults, are 12 by 16 and then, um, the monster and the, the haunted house can be 12 by 16 too. So if you just grabbed a pack and you wanted to do all five that we are offering this month, you could easily do that with a, a you know pack of 12 by 16 canvas, no problem. So you guys, when I give supply lists, tweak it to what works for what you've got at home. Maybe you're like, I don't have any black and white paint. I don't have any orange and yellow paint, but I do have teal and I do have blue and I have pink. So you can kind of mix that in and make it work for whatever you've got, okay? Or grab a couple from the store, it's a couple bucks. Um, all right, friends, I think that's what we've got. It's going to be so fun. So if you want to find our paint parties, craveartclub.com slash paint parties. And those are coming up, um, for every Saturday of September and the kids ones will be in the morning at 10 AM. And I think the adults ones are at five. Um, and that's Pacific time. Okay. So adjust for your schedule, wherever you're at. But also, the Crave Art Club is gonna be open again. I'm so excited. The Crave Art Club is gonna be open October 1st and 2nd for anyone that wants to join. We'd love to have you. That's where we do art every week, um, except the last week of the month is kind of our bonus week. It might be an interview with somebody. It might be a guest artist. It might be a tour. We just did a little tour of a studio, like a virtual tour of a studio, um, and learned about a couple artists that way. We uh, might have a fun game. We also did a fun little doodle project in the club um, today. Um, so that was kind of fun. And I had my kids with me here and we just doodled and had a little, a good little time. And next month, you guys, we're going to be learning all about pop art inside the club and we're going to be creating four pop art pieces in the club. So if your kiddos are interested in some pop art and you think that would be fun for them, we would love to have them in the club. The club is for kids, for kids like ages five to 12, the elementary, beginning junior high kind of age kiddos. Um, and families, because we love family art and getting families together to create art, and we would love for more families to jump in and join. Bring your friends, bring everyone, because it would be just so much fun to create this movement around the world where families gather together and create with each other, right? Who thinks that would be fun? Like in the comments say that would be fun. Like if more families started creating together, grandmas with their grandkids uh, or grandpas with their grandkids, um, parents with their kids. But I know it's kind of tough right now and life's a little busy and crazy. But if you're a homeschool family and you want more art in your homeschool days, this would be a great way for you to get fun art into your days. Now, I'm not gonna make it super schooly. I'm not gonna make it super teachery like where you know you have to follow every rule and whatever of famous artists and this, that, and the other thing. That's not my thing. I like to create just art for fun, but I do give you guys some information about some artists that we're gonna be learning about next month in the club. We're gonna be learning about Roy Lichtenstein. We're gonna be learning about Romero Brito. We're gonna be learning about, I'm gonna butcher the name, Yayoi Kusama. Um, she's got super cool sculpture art, you guys. So these are some artists we're gonna study in the club, um, but we're gonna make our own art based off of their ideas. So 
we'll kind of do our own project and we'll be learning about them, but in a very casual, fun, family-friendly environment, okay? So um, we use basic supplies like acrylic paint, paint brushes, markers, um, oil pastels, uh, what else do we, watercolor, just your basic supplies. And I have links to supplies if you guys need them, if you're like, I, I'd love to have my kids do this, but I don't know where to get supplies. I don't wanna be buying a ton of supplies all the time. You guys, we reuse supplies all the time because I too, as a mom, don't wanna be spending a billion dollars on a bunch of little like paper project stuff that I'm never gonna use more than one time. That drives me crazy. So I wanna be able to um, reuse. We reuse a lot. And also because that's the only way your kids are gonna master or you are gonna master your tools, right? You're not gonna know how to use watercolor if you use it one time and then walk away for six months. So we reuse stuff all the time. Oh, uh, Debbie's here, hi Debbie. She says, hello, sweet lady, sounds awesome. I know some homeschool kids I can share this with. Thank you, oh, that'd be so awesome. I'm really trying to reach like the homeschool kiddos, especially right now, because I, I'm finding, I was hoping to like get a lot of more school kids and all that stuff, but they just don't have the time. But homeschool kiddos, I think we'll have more time. So that's awesome. Um, thanks for sharing with everybody you know. I love it. That's the only way we get this word out there, you guys. And I just think it'd be so cool if we can get families from all over coming together to create art as a family and building that family time, that creative time into their you know, weekly routine, monthly routine. If you only do it once a month, that's fine. If you do it every week, that's awesome right? So if you just start setting your kids up for that, they'll be creative their whole life, right? There's so much that they're going to learn from art. They're going to learn problem solving. They're going to be creative free thinkers. They're going to be um, collaborators. All this great stuff is going to come out of just having your kids in an art environment and having your family in an art environment, which is awesome. So I think it would be awesome if we could just like spread that message and get as many kids painting together as possible. And then eventually down the road, I'd love to have like a huge, huge um, like event for all the families in the club to come out to and have, you know, we can't do it right now because we can't go anywhere. But, um, <laughs> but if we have all these families who get to know each other and get together and they get to meet each other on our Zoom calls or our Facebook Lives or in the club and they just start collaborating together, it'd be really, really awesome to have everybody come out to like a big old event and then create with hundreds of families together. That's my big dream, y'all. I'd love hundreds of families, at least, to come out and like create together for a few days, for a week, whatever it's gonna be, and we all just create all this art together. And then what would be really awesome is if we could do some art collaboration projects that we can use to give uh, to people in need. Like we'll use the event to support giving to others, right? Um, and teaching kids about kindness and all that sort of stuff where they can maybe make art projects for their grandparents, for their friends, for their neighbors. And we'll just start spreading that sort of art love to the world because we need it so much right now, y'all. So anyways, that's what we have going on right now. If you guys know anybody who is a homeschooler, who wants more art with their grandkids, who wants more art with their family, this would be a great club for them. Go to craveartclub.com and you guys can learn more about what we do in the club and who we are. And if you follow us here, you kind of know about us already. Um, you guys like my shirt? I saw this, I loved friends, okay? But um, I saw this shirt and I always say, hi friends, like at the beginning of every live. And I was like, I need that shirt. That's my shirt. So um, anyways, that was fun. So you guys, I have a kitty cat who came to visit. You guys wanna see Mr. Pizzimo? I don't know if you guys saw, but I paint or I did um, some computer generated art of Pismo just yesterday and of Zori as well. So that was pop art too. I don't know if you saw the pictures yet, but if you haven't, go check out uh, on the page. I posted my pop art Zori uh, collection and my pop art Pismo collection. And I'm using that to get inspired for next month in the Crave Art Club when we learn all about pop art. We're gonna learn about Roy Lichtenstein, Romero Brito, Yayoi Kusama, I probably said that wrong because I'm American. I don't know. <laughs> we, the best one out oh, of the Zori collection. <laughs> we have a Finn and we have a Zori. Zori, say hi. Did you see your paintings? So I did pop art for that to get inspired for what we're going to be doing in the club next month. So if you guys want to learn about pop art, hop 
pop art. Yeah, that's what I said. Hop on into the club. It's $25 for the month. That's what it is, you guys. If everyone's wondering, like, it's $25 for the month for your entire family. I don't charge you per kid or per lesson or whatever. Um, it's just 25 bucks. And, oh, I know, Debbie's like, I love the markings. Isn't she cool? She's like super cool. And she's so funny because like half her face is orange and half of it's black. Half her nose is orange, half of it's black, but there's a white stripe in the middle. She's got um, like her legs are like tabby legs in some spots, just like her brother. Um, and then on her, on her back end, she's got one orange side and one black side, which is <laughs> hilarious. She's just such a silly kitty. I love her. Um, so anyways, you guys, hop on check it out see if the club's for you or for someone that you know um i try to get this out there as much as possible but it really helps if you guys know people and you let them know we're here because i really do just want to help families create that creative environment in their home stress-free worry-free i do all of the planning i give supply lists i give step-by-step -step tutorials i do a time lapse of the lesson so you get a quick two-minute overview and then we do a video of the lesson and um, I can talk about, you know, I talk about how to do everything and all the different steps. And if anybody in the club ever has a question on how to do anything or they're stuck or they wanna, you know, do more or whatever, um, I'm always available for everybody in the club. So if that's your jam, check us out. We open again, October 1st and 2nd. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so much fun. And um, if you're just looking for some weekend paintings, then you guys can hop on to craveartclub.com slash paint parties and uh, check out our paint parties for October. We have five up. We'll have more up for November and for December as well. They're $15 a painting. Um, when we do our porch leaner, that might be a little bit more, but that's probably later in the month or November. It's not up there yet. So that one won't be 15 probably, but the others are 15 bucks. And if you want to have a private paint party in a Zoom, because those will be Facebook Live, if you want a private Zoom paint party with your friends, just private message me and um, I'll get you all the details on that and we can do paint parties together. All right, friends, God bless you. I hope you're having a great weekend. Go hug your kiddos or grandkiddos or um, call them on the phone. I know we don't live near our grandparents, so we call them. Um, and just have a great day. God bless y'all. Have fun. Thanks.